One, two, three, fuck it. Hello guys, hello everybody, welcome back, I am Anna and today we are going to be reacting to episodes 13 and 14 of the first season of Arrested Development. It would help if you all showed up, looking like a loving, supportive family. For how long? Ten minutes tops. See if you can get it down to five. Waiting to hear about Marta and this Hermano guy. Yeah, I checked it out. I do not. Uh, lay low, be cool. I'll talk to her again. That way you don't look so desperate, you know? You're a good guy, <laughs> mon frere. That means brother in French. I don't know why I know that. I took four years of Spanish. I'm so ashamed that I was so disrespectful to your brother. Oh, who cares? Nobody respects him. <laughs> I also like your hair and your face and your breasts. You sound like your brother. Oh, thank you. Jove is like the cock of the walk, but not you. You're so kind. You're sensitive like a woman. That's enough. <laughs> Nine, ten, That's... twelve. Is that Joe? Joe's wand. Oh, this, this is so wrong. No, 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 not, 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 not hot wrong. You know, regular wrong. wrong. I, I gotta tell Job. No, I have to tell him. Yes, but but you you speak a little slowly, and I really want to get this thing moving along. So listen, you do the noble thing, <laughs> and you tell him that you've met. Some I'm saying every time something starts to go well for you, you blow it. Nothing has ever gone well for me, and you know that. That's my we point, that. you handsome cowboy, Hugh. Oh great! And now you're mocking me, you selfish country music loving lady. <laughs> And Tobias had dropped an intriguing bit of information. And then, of course, we oh, couldn't yeah. conceive, so there was that famous ordeal. What do you mean you couldn't conceive? Sometimes I wish we weren't even related. Hey, you know, maybe we're not. God, what's wrong with this family? Uh, maybe we're not a family. <laughs> was Aunt Lindsay ever pregnant? Oh, yeah, dozens of times. Hey. Tell you what, you may not be good with women, but you are great with other people's women. I'll give you that. Oh. For all I know, she's calling to break up with me. I don't answer the phone, that doesn't happen. And it's all because of you, Fratello. It's yeah, well, I let my fists do the talking. Not this one, because obviously I need it for coin tricks and stuff, but this one, I let it speak for both whoa, of them. Whoa, 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 whoa. Mom always taught us to curl up in a ball and remain motionless when confronted. <laughs> but sometimes I wonder what it would be like to get into a fight today. Well, you'd be a much bigger ball. I mean, there is so much <laughs> in life that I have not experienced. Hello? Michael? Oh, hi, Mom. And not here. Is that Buster? <laughs> Tell him I'm fine without him. Why haven't you called me back? Hey, I'm taking care of it. I'll be there first thing Friday morning. It's tomorrow at 4.30. Oh, I should write that down. Where is your head, Michael? Listen, everything's going to be fine. They just read the charges, and we look like a loving family for, like, six minutes. Ten minutes. We couldn't get that down, huh? <laughs> when a man That's needs to prove to a woman that he's actually... When a man loves a woman, and uh, with deep, deep concentration and, and great focus, he is often able to achieve... What do you think I wear these for? I was never actually clear on that. <laughs> so, I would never uh, do this while you were still going out, but uh, if you're done with her, I'd sure like a crack at her. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Love my hermano. Wait a second, what? You know Hermano? Hermano is brother in Spanish. Sounds like Hermano is about to get his ass kicked. Well, this is what I said I wanted. So, <laughs> all right, let's get it over with. He's so happy about it. <clears throat> Sounds like someone who you think's name is Tito is about to get his ass kicked. Thanks for the tip, Buster. Mom wanted me to tell you that she doesn't care whether you live or die, but if you're not dead, she would like to see you at the courthouse tomorrow in the blue sweater. Damn it, I hate the blue sweater. She said it would look nice with the gray pants. Damn it, she's right. <laughs> Having failed to get the information he needed from anyone else, made the ultimate sacrifice and went to the keeper of the family hey. secrets. Oh, so, uh, it's sacrifice. about maybe. Oh, that's a lost cause. But you get what you pay for, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? what? What do you mean pay? So are you saying we're not directly related? I'm saying she already spent her inheritance getting here. Whoa. <laughs> Unfortunately, the actor who played Tio had also starred in a Mexican film about the life of Oscar de la Hoya. Am I in two thirds of a hospital room? Yeah, listen, <laughs> um, 
Well, if I'd known it was you, I wouldn't have minded. You wouldn't. Michael, you're a great guy. If you liked her, I would have said go for it. Ah! Oh my god, he brought mariachis. I'm so sad. Poor, poor Buster. I'm glad I have this family, you know? Because I know I said some bad stuff, but it's much better here than it was in Boston. And I have a cousin here, so even if my parents do get divorced, I have you, right? George Michael realized that no matter how much it upset him, he didn't want to take Maybe's family away from her. Yeah, you got us all right. Now all I need is a boyfriend. <laughs> You're my husband and you belong back at home with me. Wow. You really love me. Call it what you want. I'm tired of paying you pay to clean one dish. Sorry, 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 I'm so late. Oh, for God's sake, he's on his own for two days and he joins a gang. These guys? <laughs> oh, I've got them for the afternoon. I saw them making out at her front door. What? When? Just now. Huh. The stuff I've got to work out with Marta just keeps piling up. Unbelievable. All rise. You said it was okay. He's gonna punch him. Dare you? Now, come on. George Sr., having never heard his charges listed consecutively in one sitting, panicked and ran with great intensity. Michael and Job continued their fight onto the courthouse steps. Stop it before someone gets hit in the face! Buster realized this was his opportunity to fulfill a longtime fantasy. Oh, God. <laughs> Barry, too, felt overwhelmed. Oh, good. I better get you back in your cell. It's getting kind of crazy <laughs> out there. That too. He has a second pair of... Fuck therapy, we have Lindsay. <laughs> While Marta, who'd been told to hear... It's over. Both of you. It's over. Wait, wait, wait what, about, what about me? I'm sorry, I, I'm not totally sure who you are. <laughs> wow. Wow. That's what it feels like to get punched in the face. <laughs> but, but no, first of all, this is all moot because you never even got a chance to know me. Now, will someone please have the decency to punch me in the face? <laughs> That's effective. I'm glad that he got over his issue. I guess. Michael was sharing his bed for the first time in years. Unfortunately, it was with his younger brother, Buster. I don't think us sleeping together is working out. You're a grown man, you should be living with your mother. <laughs> yeah, I miss mom. I can tell. In fact, George Michael had developed a hopeless crush on his ethics teacher, a woman named Beth Barry. Can't wait to meet her at parent-teacher night. Oh yeah, Dad, and, uh, try to remember everything she says about me. Okay. <laughs> Did you and Dad adopt a child? The SEC was on to us. Your father thought it would make us look charitable. He must have forged my signature. Well, then maybe I'll get a son who will finish his college cheats. <laughs> You've got to get me out of this. Oh, I don't know, Job. Come on, Michael. So we have a little disagreement. Recently, Job had discovered wow. that Michael... That was the greatest fight. When was the last time you slept with someone? Buster, what time and where? Sounds like you'd like her to be more than just your teacher. Lindsay believed that George Michael wanted to fix up his father so he could fill the role of his mother. There's nothing wrong with that. Although, I must say I'm a little hurt that you haven't considered me. You're my aunt. <laughs> that doesn't matter. Aunts can fill that role. Teachers can fill that role. And someday, you're gonna find the right woman to fill that role. But until then, I'll be right across the hall. Lindsay had never been more proud of anything she had said in her entire life. <laughs> Yikes. Yikes. Oh, and this is your date, Nag. Hello, my God. 
But Job mistook Michael's basic human decency for a romantic interest and felt a competitive urge to step in. Well, yes, you know, it's beyond adorable and, and exotic. I find you very attractive. I'm Cindy Light Balloon. No. I studied ah, all no. your teachings. No, she's in everything. Every she's in everything. I've come to learn at your feet. It's a good place to start. I think he wants a mother. Well, that's ridiculous. He's got you. He's got our mother. You'd think that would turn him off the entire concept. Life that can be lost by the mindless pulling of a trigger. Mm. <laughs> no ring. I don't know. Uh, do you have a wife? Yeah, but she's dead. Oh. <laughs> Michael, the little Korean is here, and I don't know what to do with him. At least I think it's a him. You've got to strip them down to next to nothing before you can even tell. Yeah, Mom, I, I just spoke to social services, and although they don't like to do this, if you can prove that it's a bad environment for a child, and I would suggest saying what you just said to me, don't change a word, <laughs> we'll take him back. Who's that? Anyang. This is Anyang, who your father and I have adopted. Well, I'm, I'm gone for a couple days, and you find a new son? Lucille could see that her son was concerned, even jealous and she knew how it felt to be overlooked. Yes. An Yang is your brother now. An Yang. Yes, An Yang. Excuse me? Uh, Michael? Call it off. I'm keeping him. <laughs> I'm sorry, Michael. Didn't like Mezhkalia. Really? Really, and good luck getting rid of her. Oh, please. Not a problem. She knows that it was a one-time thing. Totally cool. Oh, so romantic. I kind of love her. You mean you love her, like like she loves Saddam, right? No, no, I mean like, like love her, love her. Oh. Oh. Oh, hi. Yeah, what was she doing here? I mean, she, she wasn't. Michael knew he had an ethical responsibility to tell his son the truth. And he's not going to do it. Yes. He's not going to do it. Your Uncle Job slept with her. Well, don't you think you should be taking somebody your own age to the dance? Like your cousin. That's a bad example. How we doing? We have video. Testing, one, two. My mom bought him. She's making me register him for school. He's my new little brother. So we're related. Hey, do you want to go to a dance? Great, another uncle to compete with. <laughs> I don't think that I can continue to see you. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I, I, I covered that. I told him that you slept with my brother. That may be the most unethical thing I've ever heard. Well, you've only been doing this half a semester. <laughs> you know, the Talmud teaches us to. There you go. What's he doing? He's pinching the camera. He's on to us. He's found the camera. trying to steal from the wrong man. Watch your back, my little immigrant friend. In fact, Job mistook the civics teacher for the ethics teacher Michael was dating. Man, he has a type. For and thought that she would kind of make a great mother. Is that true? I didn't know you were that serious. Well, you know, I'm just, I'm open to it. We're open to it. Wow. No, 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 no. <sighs> I'm just saying someday, you know. I'm not really into kids. Well, I'm just, I'm not trying to rush anything. Hey. You know. Oh, no, it's fine. This is America, baby. You pray how you want. Are we really over with the Marta plotline? Because that had a very funny buildup. <laughs> and it ended up so fucking quickly. We have eight episodes to go from the first season. I just, I find it so fucking hilarious that every single time in every episode, just when I thought that I heard the most scandalous thing, they just like, one up it, one up it. You know what I mean? Like, job sleeping with, continuously sleeping with the incorrect girls to get his brother jealous. <laughs> 
Well guys, this was it for today's video. I really hope you liked it. Thank you very much for watching me. Have a great day and I'll be seeing you around. Thank you, thank you, thank you to David Cleveland, Eric, TCR, Topher B, Cody Evans, Crew Gold, Jonah Fuel, Les Reese, and Thomas Janice.